today's uh, video is going to be based on a trace that I've been successfully using throughout the summer. It's a trace that I use for summer flatfish, the bigger fish, your sandies, your honeycombs, your grey sharks. It's a general trace that can catch you a lot of fish. Uh, it's uh, the, the, the problem nowadays with guys who, who try different traces and eventually they forget the basics and uh, eventually they, that leads to them uh, getting cut off or not uh, using the specific uh, trace for the target species. So I'm going to try to make this as simple as possible to show you what I've been using. I've been using this trace throughout summer. It's been catching me sandies, catching me honeycombs, black fern, uh, grey sharks. Uh, you can catch any fish with this. So guys, this is the basically what I use. Uh, you're going to need the following items. Um, I usually use a 175 pound wire. Uh, I have a piece of wire here which is around 1.6 meters long. Uh, and then after uh, I have uh, I have two different types of pliers which I'm going to use. I'm going to show you one usually is, is used strictly for cutting and the other pliers uh, which is a flat nose pliers uh, usually is for pulling the wire to, to strengthen the, the, the tag ends but I'm going to demonstrate this for you as we go on. Uh, we got uh, two glow beads here which I'm going to show you w when we insert it into the trace where we use it. Uh, I've got my, my sinker, a 6 ounce sinker with a clip and a swivel attached to it. I've got uh, some some nylon here. This is a bit of a strong nylon. It's 0.77 nylon. Uh, it's going to be used to make a uni knot in the FMJ trace uh, to stop uh, the the swivel from coming down. Then I have some some 0.60 nylon that I use for the trace uh, for sorry for the sinker line, which uh, is if it if it has to break off, it doesn't matter because uh, if you're on with a fish and uh, your sinker gets stuck onto uh, like a rock or, or some weed uh, if you have too strong sinker line that holds onto it and eventually you lose the fish so if you put weaker line onto your sinker line if it's attached to if it gets uh, stuck onto a rock the sinker busts off no problem you can still land the fish i have my dang dingle dangle which is made up of uh, wire which has two loops one larger loop and one smaller loop uh, I'm, I'm just been given those hooks by Luckies to try out. These are the new mustard, uh, the Demon Perfect Circle hooks. Uh, it's a nano. I'm gonna be trying this out soon. Uh, I use the number one power swivel, uh, and then I use uh, the NT swivels. This is gonna be used to attach our our sinker line to it. So guys. Uh, let's get started with this trace. This is the full metal jacket trace. Uh, we take our wire first of all and uh, you start off by snelling these hooks. So you take your hook, take your hook, uh, with your circle hook it's important to start snelling this hook from under. Guys if you snell this hook from over it you're gonna miss fish 10 out of 10 times. A circle hook you always snell from the bottom. You pull it in you take your, your, your left hand and hold this in the bottom and you snell this on around I have it like around 5 or 6 times you've got this guys you, you continue holding pressure onto this uh, onto this knot you take the rest of your wire in and you come in from under again you come in from under you go through the loop of the, of the hook and you pull it have this it's done your hook is in you've got a small tag in here you can pull it take your, your pliers and you can cut this off here's the beginning guys you've got your hook snelled on onto some 175 pound nylon the next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna take some of your, your 0.77 uh, monofilament and cut a small piece Guys, when you are choosing where you're going to apply this uni knot onto the full metal jacket, you need to choose this. Make sure the bottom part of this full metal jacket is shorter than the top part, because quite often, if the if the bottom part is longer, this this hook floats around and you get cut off on top. So, guys, that's a trick that we use. Keep the bottom part of your 
FMJ shorted on the top part. So basically, I keep it around 40 centimeters or so. You take your uni knot. A uni knot is, is very simple to, to make. You tie it over. You make a loop, and you go in uh, over the over the wire and the nylon around seven or eight times. Pull this around seven or eight times. And some guys usually use a crimp. I stop using crimps because um, you can have a weak point into the, the trace. So I, I now use just this uni knot. Guys, you have two tag ends here. You have the top and you have the bottom. Make sure you, you apply, you pull the bottom end of the tag end. Pull the bottom end of the tag end and you pull it. You pull it. Guys, can you see it's working? You wet it slightly and you pull it again. You pull both ends. This is now locked. You can take your, you can cut off the tag ends. Basically, what this does is this stops the this knot stops the the swivel from coming down to the to the hook. Your sinker line usually stops here. It, it doesn't. You don't want it to go down to your hook. Very simple. You take one glow bead. You put it in. You take your T swivel. Take your anti swivel, you load it in, you take your other glow bead and you load it in. And thereafter you have your number one power swivel. Now this is also, guys use very different knots, I've been using a normal figure 8 knot and wrapping up the ends which works very well. You take this in, but guys, just be very careful how you make this and where you apply the pressure onto pulling the tag in. You put this in into your number one power swivel. You put it over your finger and you make, I usually roll it around two times. And you pull this in and you can see here that a figure eight comes. But don't take your finger off the, the loop. Here you take your flat nose pliers, you hold this tight, just tight, and just one time, pull it in tight. Here you have it, you let go of everything, you hold the figure eight, pull this in right to the end, right to the end. You have something like this. Basically this knot is now locked in. You have your tag ends, you take your tag ends, and you just fold it over so it just secures the knot guys you can fold this around five or six times you come as close as possible to the end cut this off and here you have it you have your figure eight and you have your uh, folds of your wire so you have this you have your bead you have your anti swivel, you have another bead, you have a uni knot, and you have your hook. Thereafter, it's time to measure to attach the sinker and finish off the chase. You take your, your smaller end of your, uh, of your knot in the dangle and you attach it into your hook. Thereafter, you take your, your 0 0.60 or your weaker nylon. And you make a, a normal figure eight into your into your sinker line. Normal figure eight into your sinker line. You wet it. Always you make your knot. You always wet the nylon, or it will burn off no matter how strong the nylon is. So nylon against nylon. And you pull it. Gets too hot. It burns off. Always wet it and check it. Thereafter, you measure your full metal jacket trace. You have your dangle all the way till this knot. You give it like about 10 centimeters past the uni knot. Just to get it in in a proper measurement, you take your anti swivel and attach. You have make a figure eight to the anti swivel. It's just uh, all my knots are mainly figure eights. After that knot has never let me down. It fact gets stronger and stronger. But make sure you take your time. You have the eight. You wet it. Work your tag ends, and you clip the end. People, here you have it. It's your basic trace, catches you any fish, can catch you a blackfin, it can catch you a zambezi, can catch you any fish. Uh, remember, 
this uh, you can attach your bait to this and you can you can attach this to your sinker and this goes as far as possible basically this is your trace and you, know, you have you don't need to use an extra piece of nylon when you're using this from your braid you can take your braid leader and make I usually use a, another uni knot here and around eight times and uh, I agree basically this is about the trace I've been using throughout summer hasn't let me down guys try it out and let me know how it goes sure